Eternal League. So let's take a look at Group A here. So in is the winner with uh, two games won. Piltong left the league, so it's a 3-0 um, sweep for him in this group and you see it here Lawlight versus Shot. both players won a match, both players lost the match and uh, now it's between them who advances to the semi-finals Lawlight of course the favorite in this match I think because uh, yeah he's he's around for a long time now Shot, kind of an up-and-comer and both players will battle it out on Melting Valley so let's not waste any more time let's jump into the game and let's see who advances to group uh, to the quarterfinals from from group A. A player's force. Whoa! Why is it so laggy now? Okay, now it's better. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. This is better. Okie dokie. We missed a bit. I can just restart it here. This is better for everyone. So. <coughs> Started. Once again for YouTube Eternal League Week 5 deciding match between Shot and La Light. You hear this now for the fifth time or something, but uh, yeah, for the YouTubers, I think uh, you, it's understandable that I repeat it over and over again. Um, yeah, this is the best league from Korea. This is Eternal League, thanks to our sponsors Logon Media and S Holic. So, this is Group A. And uh, who wins this match advances to the playoffs, who loses this match drops out of the tournament and will not be able to compete for the $900 anymore. So uh, yeah, it's a very unusual matchup here, Knight of Mirror on Melting Valley, you only see that uh, um, in Eternal League I guess. So yeah, pretty curious how things turn out. We'll see a double Demon Hunter, we saw that before, uh, before the replay crashed or, or bucked or whatever. Um, so yeah, if, if you want more information about uh, the Eternal League, go over to tft.w3arena.net slash Eternal League. There's the full coverage of all the games and the groups and uh, what you need. The streams, of course, the Koreans stream at 7 a.m. every Saturday at twitch.tv slash Eternal League. So uh, thank you to our friends from Korea. And now we're finally able to see some Warcraft action here with a little delay, but whatever. As I mentioned before, double Demon Hunter um, as the first heroes and they will start creeping this little green creep spots with archers and then probably tech two tier three and fight out a nice little bear mirror here but um, it would be very beneficial for our pleasure for our viewing experience if attack. one of the players decides to not go for bears but for a jewel of the talents instead or a mass range um, a mass range strategy or even a mass range with engines of war so a lot of possibilities here in the Night Elf Mirror on M MV, but the most likely one is of course the Bear Mirror. So, Lolite here in the upper right as the blue Night Elf shot, in the lower left as the red Night Elf, and we see a slight change here. Hunter's Hall, very early, just before the tech by um, shot Lolite, not even teching as well, but I think the tech is coming pretty soon. I guess a level two, one and a half for shot being hunter, and he's Please creeping. Oh, well, ooh, this is not supposed to happen um, with the the damage icons here. But yeah, he's uh, doing the blade master thingy and creeping the ogre magi alone with his archer, taking a lot of hits. But he gets the ring of regeneration, perfect item for the situation. And uh, yeah, afterwards he'll heal up with the ring of regeneration, of course. So. Um, yeah, I think it was worth it, especially if you consider the vision he gets with his watch award uh, throughout the entire game. Tier 2 tech now by Lawlight. Um, still, okay, now here's the tier 2 for shot. So this uh, results, of course, in a huge amount of archers, or a nice amount of archers for Lawlight, who has a 3 um, compared to the 1 of shot. So a little more risky um, early game by shot, but he has a Huntress Hall, so maybe he'll push out. Huntress now, yes, he does. So a slightly tactical difference here on Melting a Valley. Level 2 for Law Light, level 2 of course for Shot. So nothing really special about the heroes. Two the circles, of course, seat. very nice for Shot. Um, Law Light with one circlet, one gloves. It's also uh, pretty much okay. And now with the two archers and a berserker, he's getting the troll warlord. 
support. So, uh, yeah, works pretty well this creeping for him. One of Mana stealing one of the worst items he can find in a Knight Elf Mirror, but uh, yeah, he's um, spending a lot of gold on his army. Four archers, two mercenaries, and shot in the meantime, getting a ring of protection, plus three, getting the boots, steals it from the laboratory of the light, and gets the second watch award. So a lot, a lot of uh, vision for shot on this the map. Town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. So yeah, the techs are progressing. The first Huntress is out, and uh, yeah, slight tech advantage, of course, for Lolight because he skipped the Huntress Hall and he's not building one. So this points, of course, to a Druid of the Talon mass range strategy. Maybe he combines the Demon Hunter with the Potom, uh, the Priestess of the Moon on uh, tier two. That would, of course, uh, the two shot aura would boost his damage significantly. So. Yeah, I think uh, that's everything that happened here in the early game. No, we get Zanaga, of course, uh, another uh, valuable option. And oh, he needs dust now. Very nice Shadow Melt by shot, but here it is. And bam, down goes the Archer. But there was no dust. Maybe. Okay, he has a scan available here, as has shot. Um, he's able to use everything from the laboratory here. So I think Lolite continues creeping, maybe scouting for an expansion now in the meantime. Shot with his first two hunters not applying any pressure, which you would like um, with hunters versus archers, but such a nice amount of piercing damage that the archers, uh, the hunters won't um, stand a chance against this. And here comes the first push by Lolite. Maybe this is already the push that um, that brings him into the playoffs, but we'll see about that. Shot counters the uh, Naga with the Keeper of the Grove, but of course this needs some more time to, since it's coming from the altar and not from the tavern. Uh, for the next game I will definitely uh, ban these numbers, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, the Keeper of the Grove of course very nice to, to uh, for picking up units, especially if you go bears uh, with the Thorns aura. This is also very, very beneficial for that tactic, so... Uh, yeah, let's see. Of course, the Naga very good for picking up units too with the Frost Arrow, but uh, he didn't kill anything, I guess. Mm. So the yeah, what's happening in the main base? We see an Engine of Wonders, we see the first Engine of Wind, so no double Engine of Wind, but a Tree of Life for Law Lights, so Tier 2 expansion, as the Night Elves um, like to do. But yeah, I think some kind of special, special game already. Let's see how things unfold in the end. So now it is shots time um, to apply pressure here to um, contest the expansion because he's not going for one at all. He has the two into the floor, of course, going for dryads, going for bears. And yeah, with the first entangle being thrown, uh, I think that's there's not much to do at the moment. Not a mana burn, of course. Mm. Burning the mana of the Keeper of the Grove, so less entangle, less damage, less dead units. Let's see, he has five archers, one priest and one berserker. No Jude of the Talon yet, the Engine of Wind. Oh, now he's switching to double Engine of Wind. Uh, of course, very nice with Purifier and the magical damage uh, versus Huntress and Bears. But maybe he's going for... Yeah, he's going... For bears now with the adept upgrade tier three tech of course he invests a lot in this uh, in this tech but tier three tech by low light as well so he will be able to cyclone the units the bears <coughs> so finally level three for low light level two for the naga so he has level two mana burn and level one for lightning Area of effect damage always nice against bears, and of course level 2 mana burn very nice against the Keeper of the Grove. Um, but yeah, nothing so spectacular yet. But there is a nice experience advantage for Law Light, the old school Korean Night Elf player who played uh, stuff like, what was it called? Ah, I can't remember. The, the, the good old uh, Korean cups where Remind won so much money because he was just better than everybody else. I have to look it up how it was called, but I re remember Passenger being an being an admin. So yeah, shot at the shop again, keeping the rest of uh, the camp. So 
The tension is getting higher. And uh, yeah, here we have the creep that uh, killed the replay before. Okay, the shockwave is completely different from the one we saw, so yeah, we catched up with it. And we have the Wind of the Wind. Pretty nice if there's no dispel, and there is no dispel so far in the army of a shot. No dryads at all. And I'm not even sure if he knows about this expansion. Okay, he, uh, he definitely knows about it, but he doesn't want to do anything against it. Here comes the Creepjack now, Zeppelin being bought, and this looks uh, much better for ally than in the previous version. Nice Entangle here, killing the Frost Troll Berserker, but immediate uh, Wind of the Wind being used on both heroes of shot. Maybe this is the chance to surround, nope it's not, this is the chance for the Town Portal to be used. And yeah, the Zeppelin, nice saving of the Berserker here again uh, with only a few hit points, so nice micro by Law Light, I think. He's in the better position by far, 54 food versus uh, 37. And yeah, we explained the hero levels here. Um, at least Shot had, has catched up. But here's a Tinker, very nice of course, with a pocket factory. Four and three heroes for Lawlight. He killed a lot in this uh, in this creep check he received. <coughs> so the situation turned around completely. Yeah, heal scroll now for Lolite. He's pretty well equipped and I don't really know how Shot will be able to come back from this without Dispel against Cyclone uh, with two hero levels below and no third hero. This is gonna be hard for him. First Cyclone coming in again, disabling the Demon Hunter for a quite nice amount of time. Immediate focus to the Keeper of the Grove, but there's no Entangle there, only slow and the Naga is far, far away. First Pocket Factory here, nice Zeppelin Micro once again, saving the Demon Hunter for now. No more damage coming into the Keeper of the Grove, so he is safe for now. But nice Zeppelin Micro here once again, the Naga is in problems, but she gets saved here by the Zeppelin. Reposition in Wu Potion on the Demon Hunter, slow arrow and final hit here on the Keeper of the Grove. Shot loses a second hero and he saves the berserker once again nice usage of cyclone here disabling the demon hunter once again maybe a surround there is no town portal the surround is closed maybe he's able to fight out of it but nice repositioning here with the clockwork goblin he's killed no he's able to surround but with frost arrow and another cyclone he won't be alive for long i think yeah pocket factory closes the deal no he lets him escape again so he needs a third cyclone but this time, it's gonna be over. Yes, it is. Mana burn here. Demon Hunter down. Keeper of the Grove down. Not much left for shot. So, Lolliot with the expansion, with the better army, with the better heroes. Pretty nice equipped in the inventory as well. So, uh, yeah, Shot has to spend a lot of resources getting those heroes back, but he definitely needs to push with the Master Bears now. Kill off some Druids of the Talon, but I think this is just. Victory by strategy for Law Lyot because there is no dispel. He definitely needs dispel against those cyclones. Okay, finally, he has some dryads on the field. Okay, and now he wants to kill that expansion to come back into the game, but I think Law Lyot is well equipped here. Does he has, have a town portal? Yes, he has. And he will be able to defend this repositioning by shot. This is his last chance probably to come uh, to advance into the playoffs. But Lolai, nice positioning here because there's no area of effect damage for um, for shot. Huge damage coming into the Druid of the Claw. Nice Cyclone usement here disabling. First bear down, second bear down. Clockwork Goblin's doing a tremendous job. Zeppelin saves them all again. All the bears are dying one after another. The, <laughs> uh, the Huntress as well surround on the Demon Hunter for the second time by disabling him, killing the Dryads first. What an impressive victory by Law Lyot. He um, earns the second rank in his group and advances to the quarterfinals in the Eternal League here. So he will follow Shot um, and is still able to grab that $900 in this tournament. So uh, yeah, Shot is out. And of course, Piltong left the league before the first uh, play day. So Group A is... Uh, Number one is Soin, the Orc player who won all his games. Second place is Law Light, who only lost to Soin but won against Shot and, of course, got the death win from Piltong. So, uh, yeah, these are the first players in the quarterfinals.
What a rocky road to the first uh, 